and welcome to another retro video game stream on original hardware. Um, tonight we're going to be playing a couple of Atari 2600 games that I picked up recently on vacation. One of them is a 20th Century Fox game called Space Master X7. <laughs> and um, I don't think it has anything to do with any property to speak of. Um, I think it's just a game that they made, and it is reminiscent of an arcade game that I'd never played, actually, as a kid called uh, Star Castle. <clears throat> and if you know anything about Star Castle, apparently Yara's Revenge was an attempt to make a 2600 version of Star Castle, and it turned into its own game. Um, the premise is that you are attacking a, a base in the center of the screen that has like a force field around it that you either have to like kind of chew through with a weapon... Um, to get to the center and explode the base. So the premise is sort of simple, but uh, fun. And I saw a video talking about sort of uh, rarish gems on the 2600. And this game came up. Uh, I think they were talking about the new Star Castle that was made by Champ Games or some other homebrew creator. And uh, this game just looked really cool. It just seemed like a neat looking game for the 2600. And uh, so... I was hunting around for it, and I found it at a used game store in Madison, Wisconsin, and bought it. So um, <clears throat> I was excited to get it. The other game we're going to play tonight is Video Chess, uh, which really is nothing particularly special other than the fact that it is a chess game squeezed into the confines of a 4K ROM cartridge and uses special sprite uh, switching so that you can fit all the chess pieces into the game. And apparently, Video Chess is actually pretty good as a chess game uh, as far as computer opponents go, so, so to speak. I, I'm actually not very good at chess. <laughs> I wish I was better. <laughs> so maybe it's an opportunity to try to improve my chess skills. But anyway, we're going to start with uh, Space Master X7 and play that for a little while. I'm actually going to look the manual up really quick. Uh, to see what the story is with the difficulty settings. I do kind of wish that so many Atari games weren't so dependent on having the manual. Um, a lot of the manuals seem like you kind of have to have them. All right. Space Master X7. Controls. Objective, destroy as many Hyperion military bases as possible. There's an energy meter at the bottom that shows you how much life it has left, I think. Force field, yes. Let's see, shield, scoring, levels of difficulty. Oh, okay. I guess it doesn't have any difficulty settings. Well, that makes that easy. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll go ahead and get started with uh, Space Master X7. I might turn the volume down. We'll see how loud it is here. That's a little loud. Still a little loud. This game does have a, a lot of flashing lights as well. Still kind of loud. Oh, 
Now, this seems hard. Or it seems easy, I should say. But it gets pretty hard quickly. I, I played this a little bit the other night, and uh, it was surprisingly difficult. Ah. now. See if we can break a hundred thousand. Broke a hundred thousand. This game is not easy. As it, I mean, it starts out easy and then it gets really hard quickly, which is you know kind of what you want. It's still a little loud. All right, we can press.
This game does have a lot of flashing lights. Reminds me a little bit of Tempest, even though it's not really like Tempest. Ah. This reminds me a little bit of the Tron arcade game. The closer you are, the faster you can kill it. You get it right up on it and kill it really quickly. got last time. that's not our ceiling. Wasting precious lives. Well, I gotta say, this game's pretty cool for a 2600 game. It might not seem that exciting, but it is challenging to try to get past the force field when there's a whole bunch of stuff flying at you. 
these early parts of the game are not so mo not so challenging, but later on it gets real hard. Ah! Terrible. Crud. Crud! Oh no! It got worse! <sighs> okay. I want to break 100,000. That's not how you do it. So yeah, the copyright on this game is 1983, which means it's probably somewhat rare because it was right around the time of the video game crash.
I died. And finding a way in quickly to attack the base is not e not always easy. Getting worse. I'm gonna break a hundred thousand, I swear. You can shoot in uh, eight directions. Thank you. 
Man. No! We have gotten worse at the game. <laughs> All right. Let's try this one more time, and then we're going to switch to video chess. But this has been actually really fun for a 2600 game. I was not expecting it to be this much fun, because the challenge is actually pretty good. Um, slipping in to attack the base underneath the force field is not easy. I'm getting worse at this game. When, ex when the shield is expanding.
see that its health meter actually slowly generates too. <sighs> well, um, I have to say, this game's great. This is really fun. This is a really cool game. It's very challenging. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's some element of pattern to it, but uh, I'm really impressed. The graphics are pretty cool. It's very colorful. Um, the sound is sort of crazy, but it's also very Atari 2600. Um, it's I just I'm enjoying playing this game. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to come back and revisit it. Um, I'm really glad I picked it up. It wasn't super cheap. It was kind of expensive, rare-ish for a 2600 game. I mean, I paid 25 for it, but I think it can go... I think there's one on eBay for like 50 I'm not sure I would pay 50 bucks for any 2600 game. But this game's pretty cool. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this game. So if you have an opportunity to play... Space Master X7. Uh, I recommend doing it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to switch to video chess now.